What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a great day. We're out here at Sand Canyon. I want to thank them so much for hosting me this whole week. I've been having so much fun with Exterior Golf and Brian. So thanks so much for having me out this week. We're going to bring you along for a little nine-hole vlog, the Valley Nine here at Sand Canyon. We're just going to take you straight to the tee, number one, par four. 373 yards, dog leg to the right, green sets off back in there. Our aiming point is going to be that tree. Little into the wind, tee it high, let it fly. I hit that one well, but it is just through the fairway, 90 yards left to a front pin. Lob wedge. Really not too bad here, putting back up the hill for birdie, roughly 12 feet left. I definitely broke a bit more than I thought. Par here on one. So thankful for all the courses and all the travel that I've been able to do here in the last year and was wondering where everyone's located watching this video. Drop a comment down below. Let me know where you're from. Number two, par four, pretty much straight away, 402 yards. That is the green you see off in the distance. <laughs> a little bit higher stinger, but still a stinger. 125 left in here, gap wedge in hand. Oh, the wind caught it just a little bit. It's a little long, but it was good contact. All right, walking back here. There is where it landed. It actually trundled on down across the cart path. We are on the hard pan, not what we we're looking for. And there is the lie. So I thought about taking a drop, but really where the ball was, I had a decent swing there. So I played it as it lies chipped up there, kind of trundled up there, roughly five, six feet left for par. Oh, I thought that was going to break a little to the right. Oh, I did. All right, that is a bogey here on two. Number three, par three, 183 yards up the hill. I've got a seven iron. So take a lesson from me right there. Don't get steep on it when you're trying to keep it down below the wind. Getting steep on it causes a lot of spin. And when you cause spin into the wind, it'll just kind of balloon and go the direction of the wind. That's what happened there. Let's see if we can't get this up and down. Here is where we ended up. That's what we're faced for an up and down for par. Are here on three. One over through three holes, looking for our first pin slammer. Hopefully number four is at par five. 539 yards, dog leg to the left. I think our aiming point is going to be just over that corner right there. Solid shape right here, 238 yards to our front pin. It's go time. <laughs> D 
Didn't quite get all the way up there, but we'll take it in good shape. Back up the hill into the wind. Probably should have gone with hybrid right there, but did want to hit the stinger. Ended up a little short. Let's get this up and down for bird. And we will take that every day, all day. I mean, that backdrop up there, those mountains are incredible. Let's go. First pin slammer of the day. Number five, par four, 451 yards. We're gonna be teeing it high and letting it fly just over that corner, dog leg left. Alright, I definitely pulled that a bit from where I wanted it. However, we're good. No worries. I hit it really well. And if you're going to miss it one direction, left is where you want to miss it. Didn't know that off the tee. Right, you didn't want to really go right. We're in good shape. 85 yards left. Lob wedge. I hope y'all can see that bounce, and I hope you can see where that ended up. It looks like it's about a foot. I definitely pulled that. However, the contour of the green kicked it hard right, and we're good. I just watched the clip back. You could see the bounce kick right. All right, y'all, it was one of those two ball marks right there. Hopped right, we'll fix that in a minute. Hopped right, kept trundling, trundling, feeding towards the hole and ended up right there. That's like not even a foot away. Are you serious? It's like eight, 10 inches. What a hop. We will take that pin slamming birdie putt ahead. Tweeter. Number six, par four, 396 yards. Green sits off back in there. However, with that backdrop going on, stinger right there. All right, good shape right there. 150 yards to a left middle pin, it looks like. Nine iron in hand. Ah, I thought we were gonna get that close up there. However, must have been a little more wind than I was giving it credit for. Kind of ballooned a little bit, landed short. Looks like it trickled into that bunker. Let's go get this up and down for par. And that was a bogey. Brings us back to even par. However, hitting some good shots. Need to work on our spin control. Kind of ballooning a bit on me in the wind. Trying to flight it down. Getting too steep. So need to go to the range and work on that. On to number seven. This is an awesome down the hill par three. I'm going to move up one box because you can't really see the green from the back box. 180 yards down the hill. Seven iron in hand. never like to say this word and I'm not going to call it a shank but eh, yeah yeah 
here's where we are. This is what we're faced, roughly 25 yards left. Not a ton of green to work with. Want to land it hopefully in there. I think it's going to kick a little left. Let's go, that was a huge up and down. Number eight, par four, 283 yards up the hill. The green sits off back in here. I didn't come here to lay up. Hit that one decent. Might've wanted it a little further left, but not gonna complain. Not having played this hole before. Hit it pretty good, we'll go find it. And here is where we ended up. Not bad at all, kind of right side of the green, just through it. I'm walking up from the side of the green. There's where the pin is, and that's where our tee shot was from, somewhere just over that mound. Ended up in good shape right there. Let's get this up and down for birdie. That is why you work on short game. Pin slammer on eight. The Sand Canyon Valley course has been so much fun to play. Our final hole, number nine, 549 yards from this top tee box. You can see for miles, super cool ending hole for the valley course. I've had so much fun. Hope you've enjoyed coming along. Drop a like if you have. See if we can't end with a camera drop an eagle. That would be awesome. Our line is gonna be just to the left of that tree that you kind of see there in the middle. You probably figured this was a par five being 549 yards. Just wanted to let you know, par five. Thankfully just missed these bushes, trickled down to here. Have our work cut out for us to knock it on. 230 yards left. Ended up just short here. Tried to run it up, hit a little draw. A lot of green to work with right here, roughly 25, 30 yards left. Oh, oh I thought I rolled in another pin slammer. That is a par here on the last. Hope y'all enjoy coming along the Sand Canyon Valley 9. I had so much fun. Finished at one under. Would have loved to have gotten that last one up and down. Chip, not so great, but that's okay. Had fun. Thanks so much to Mark and his team here at Sand Canyon for having me out and for Exterior Golf. This has been an incredible week. So much fun. Check out Exterior Golf as well. I'll drop them down in the description. Have a bunch of YouTube content on their channel that we've done this week. Can't wait to come back. Hope y'all have enjoyed the content so far. And until next time, we'll see you when we see you.